everyone, welcome to our episode of SRB TV. I'm Chris. I'm Christopher. And on today's episode, we're taking a look at Stargirl Season 1, Episode 10, Brainwave Jr. Previously on Stargirl, um, uh, Henry, I almost heard his name for a second, Henry dove into his father's old like videos about when he was first starting to learn how to use his powers. Mm -hmm. um, Courtney tried to convince um, Henry had joined them, and that you should dive deeper into, like, because all people are good in some way or extent, you yeah. should dive deeper. Um, Counselor Yolanda found out that Courtney is kind of ran on that front because Yolanda still blames him for what happened to her years ago. Yeah. Uh, while that was going on, um, our other two heroes were researching about um, the, the history of Blue Valley and discovered that the reason just say chose Blue Valley is because the, found, uh, the original co found the original founders created Blue Valley to create kind of like their own America. So they kind of have a good reason and backstory of why they chose Blue Valley. Yeah, that's why. And so their plan is to um, control all of America. Yeah, or at least mind control, control all, of all of America. That's what they, they plan to do. But uh, a lot of good interesting notes for, uh, for the last episode that we did not bring up at the end of uh, the last episode. Uh, the seven. Um, yeah. Um, the, like you were calling it, like the pre the pre Titans in a way. Um, before there was Justice League, of course there was the Justice Society, and of course before Team uh, before Titans, there was the Seven Soldiers of Victory. Even though there's eight of them, but Seven yeah. Soldiers of Victory. A couple of notable things to look at, including the original Vigilante, which yeah. is really cool. The original Vigilante, and then one of them was the Knight. Just a Knight. Just a, yeah, what you like to call it, just a Knight. Um, so we know that he, that's how he knows Stripey, at least. Um, or at least Pat is from the group, because they were all psychics in a way. Then they also showed how um, Justin uh, has, has been seeing the Cosmic Staff occasionally. Well, at least that one moment. That's yeah. the thing. It's, it's that one moment. We don't know if there's something mentally going on with him. That's why he's been talking the way he is, acting the way he is, type of situation where... You know, is he, did he separate, was there, pretty much, is there a good reason why he's acting the way he is? Oh yeah, and back to the Founding Fires thing, because we didn't finish that. Of course, they discovered that the Founding Fires also had hidden tunnels. Uh, yeah, yeah, well. that will ex helps explain, you know. And then high school decided to show up with his family to their place, to uh, yeah. Courtney's place, and because of a hot steaming pot of chicken dumplings. Well, hot, 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 hot uh, of chicken they, dumplings, they, 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 uh, school was able to touch it. Uh, without really needing gloves, and that's where they kind of put two and two together that he's high school. Yeah, but um, they don't know to what extent the rest of his family know. Yeah, and then of course the big bomb in the room, elephant in the room that dropped, was mom dropping in, stepping in as they, they, the staff was there floating, and they were talking about stuff, and now she knows. Yeah. And now they have to tell her everything. Yeah. So this is going to be an interesting episode where they're going to go with that and how, how she's going to handle all this information. Yeah. So let's dive into this for Stargirl Season 1, Episode 2. Uh, episode 2. Episode 10, Brainwave Jr. So here we go. Like you're always dropping some of those like uh, Easter eggs in there. Oh. Oh, that's when he visited. When he was when they visit. Oh, when they first met. Yeah. Closing in a minute, folks. Can I get you anything else? Oh, uh, the the split. Oh. I think yeah. I think he generally loves her. Just he really does. It's, it's, a, it's a genuine thing. I gotta show you this Cause, now. Cause their cause their connection is a love for like the old school, the retro. The like kind back in the day, because you can he, he hear that when she talked about like when she grew up there, yeah, when she yeah. was trying to pitch new ideas to help the town. Dad was a superhero, and now I'm a superhero too. Okay, hey, don't don't leave with that. Don't leave with that. Don't leave with that. Don't leave with that. Dad. The audience. What is she talking about? Oh God. Just let me start at the beginning. The audience was kind in that situation. Don't start with that. Don't just start with that. Seriously. Like, sarcastically and nonchalantly, don't start with that. You need to go. Armor, Get out of this house. <sighs> Son of a bitch. 
You should bring up the fact that like, I didn't tell her that Starman was her father. I kept on saying the opposite. I know, right? I kept on, no, it's not. You said you found her in the pool. You said that she was ice cold. You said she was ice cold. That could mean two things. I know, I know. It could be Either he killed, her, killed his own wife, yeah, yeah. or ice cold killed her. No, I'm hoping that somehow Court, I, I don't know, what I mean is Court pretty much, it's like with this happening, it's like Court brought back, you know, before he was evil, you know, it's like how good of a father he was, you know, one of those, that's I'm hoping. I think we'll find out the truth, oh, so yeah, I, for here, I think we'll find out the truth about her actual father. Okay, yeah, thanks, and you know, Mike, I don't know if I tell you this enough, but don't get all shaky on me, big guy. I'm gonna go pack a bag. Well, well that's cool. Love you. I love you. Yeah, <laughs> that's cool. No, I think it had a, again. It's one of those things where I think he blamed Starman, but it wasn't Starman. It was Ice. You know, where they were trying to yeah, push yeah. him Henry. for the greater good. Yeah. The world through Mary's eyes made me question Jordan. Or if he's just zoomed in on the camera. <laughs> Seriously, he's doing these recordings on his own, all of a sudden it's zoomed in on you the camera. You do realize he has tough neck abilities. Of America, That's true, yeah. And we killed them, including Mary's brother, Starman. Starman? What? She would never forget. What? Her? I hope. His? She would go he with actually. It's not Courtney who's related to Starman. It's Henry. Dead. Mary's dead. Because of Isis. Because of her connection to Starman. Of her connection to Starman. Wow! What a twist! Holy shit, man! It's not Courtney that's related to Starman. He's the one who's who's he's got the. Uh, Connection and relation to it. What about this star girl? The one that put me here. Who is she? Oh, oh shit! God damn, Steph's like, if you're not gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. All your questions will be answered. Fuck! Oh shit! It opens up more questions about the staff, too. Mm -hmm. Is this entire time the staff been using Courtney to try to get revenge for the death of Starman? Don't think, don't think, don't think, don't think, don't think. Don't think. Shit, I'm thinking. Don't think, don't think, don't think, don't think. Shit, I'm thinking out loud. Hello, <laughs> The number you dial is nine service. <laughs> Please trade and layer. Leave a message after the beep. 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 The, the, the tone, just the, him saying beep. Start packing. I'll be back in an hour. Explain to her, cause at this point you have no choice. Explain to her why it's not Starman. Explain to her what really happened with her father. Just explain. We all know it's not. That's right. Because the mom. Here's my theory. The mom's gonna die by the end of this season. That's my theory. The mom's gonna be dead by the end of this season. That's my. Trust each other. They tell each other everything. They help each other. That game is right. Not, but you're not my sister. I get it. Tell me your life for. Mike, no, Mike. Tell her. Tell him. Ah, did that thing. Your Wait, and, and your mom was. Starman's sister. Starman's sister. Starman's sister. Yeah. Your mom was Oh, my cousin? Oh, you're, you're my cousin? Oh my god! Oh my god, we're related! I still. He's, he's like, he's looking at him. He's like, I, I don't know what to do here. Jordan has. I think it hurts him too much. That, that's good. That's a good thing. I, I mean, Zach, but 
<laughs> it's, 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 it's sad. We're in for better, but it's, it's, it's in our favor. Oh, Sam, her actual father. Her actual, Courtney's actual father. I wish she would just tell her instead of just saying, "Hey, come see." Oh, starving. Yes, he is. Look, it helps. She didn't tell me anything. I read her mind. What she is not going to do anymore. That's only polite. That's only polite. I love. Fat, this is so adorable. That's polite. This isn't a mystery that you need to solve. Okay, just get Courtney out of here. Go far away, alright? Oh, hi Pat. Hello, Bob. Yeah, it's keep playing, it's keep playing. Turn off the monitor, turn off the monitor! It's got. Yeah, he's turning it! He's like, ugh! Oh, Bob, you have to stop. Yeah, Why? We don't have a choice right now. Yes, you do! Stick together! Scooby Doo! It worked for Scooby Doo, but it doesn't work for you guys. For dinner. That is so thoughtful. You think I hate me? You can say what on your own self, I know. I wish you were a smile on Pat's face! We're trying to probably give his memory. No, I don't. Remember, they need his mind, remember? Himself, where it's like he decided to kill her, you know, and then that's when you know, over time, like you know, like his his son just stated, going this power manipulated you, all, you know, all these years. It's like it took it took control of you, 
You know, so it's like, it's like he, no care in the world, as you can tell after killing his own son. Not so yeah, the then, yeah. Next couple episodes are definitely gonna be pretty intense. Well, the final the, three episodes. Final three episodes are gonna be pretty intense because like Brainwave has all of his memories back. He knows full aware who they are, and now that the mom's involved, like Courtney's mom's involved, that just even raises stakes higher. And let's not forget the email response from Courtney's actual father. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Yeah, so which I'm gonna be honest, if that is her father. Fine, but, but, I have this weird suspicion that he was hired to be her father. Who knows? Maybe. He was hired to be her father, and her real father is still Starman. Maybe. We don't know yet. Um, I, my theory's on that. I but that's Jesus theory. Christ, where do you start with this episode? Fuck. Oh, shit. The revelation that Henry's, uh... Freaking uncle. Ma, ma, his, his uncle is actually Starman. Um, shit, man. And then not only on top of that, just with everything with the family and stuff like that, especially with her, her with Pat. You know, you know, it's just like you feel for them because it's like you know he does have that love for her, but it's like, but it's it, and then there's just Mike as well. For, this fucking thing. Mike is the last person in this family who doesn't know anything yeah. and should. To an extent, you know, it's just exactly, you know, that's why I like. I love that scene that he had, that powerful scene he had with with Court, where it's just like, it's like, you know, I'm your brother. Tell me stuff. Tell me. I can. You know, these the later, the second half of the season's episodes, I can see why a lot of people were, have been regarding it as a really good series. It's like, it's like, I'm it's starting to I'm, see. It's where I'm kind of worried when it, season two jumps to CW if it will keep the same tone. That's what I'm hoping for. I'm hoping it's to keep the same tone. And I, even even the length of the episodes, I hope they keep it at that amount. Only because it's like you see some of these series where like the Flash or Arrow, how to, they have these twenty two episodes. Because to an extent, he was he was innocent. What happened with Yolanda? To an extent, yeah. he was innocent. And just having him in the last couple episodes get a redemption arc, just to have it just thrown in his face by his own father. It's like it's which I love the villains in this. I really do love the villains in like. It's like they truly this. feel like you know. It's like yeah, there are times when you feel for them, but there are times when you're like, they are true villains. They're like, villains that you like. Get. Cindy, like the, re the the things her dra the dragon has with his own daughter is just that she does she she's not ready. She's clearly not ready. Like with Ice Cold, it's one of those. He, he knows what he has to do to make his son's life a better place. That's why he hasn't told his son. Yeah. You know, Brainwave is just one of those, he wanted, he wanted the same thing that like kind of like Dragon King has with Cindy, but unfortunately, you don't tell your son that you killed his mom. Mm -hmm. That's a big no-no if you want him to join the dark side. <laughs> and just, God damn, the villains in this are good. That's the what I like about this. That's what I like about this. Compared to like the shows you get on like the CW, so it's like you get uh, sometimes you get just that single villain throughout the whole arc. Here you have multiple villains, but here they're doing you're using them wisely in the season one, and I love that they're using them, you know, in key moments that they, they, that it needs to be it needs to be done, you know. So I'm like I'm I'm really it's like this is like. Wow, this is leading to the final three episodes. You're like, God damn, we because yeah, they Brainwave knows who they are. You have the fact that especially Dragon King and Cindy know the situation as well, and then you still have Icicle being Icicle, fucking best villain so far this season. Like, oh my god, like it's such a man. It's such a good. It was a really good episode. Yeah, it is very tragic what happened to Henry. And like even Yolanda, just in that moment, realizes he was telling the truth that if he could take it all back, he would. In that would, one yeah. moment, it's like, because even that's why I love that moment even when you look at Court going, yes, there are good in people. You know, there is goodness in them. You know, he see he's seen that. Uh, he saw that. You know, and that's where it's like now it's, it's really gonna. It's, this yeah. is really gonna push even Yolanda even more. Part, to think about yeah, it. part of the next episode is definitely not only be dealing with the fact of what happened with Henry, but also. Probably still trying, Courtney trying to convince her mom why they should stay in Blue Valley. Because right now it seems like she's getting closer and closer of like what they're saying. Is yeah, without the staff, she's pretty well skilled. Well, remember she is a gymnast, so it's like on top of that, it's like it's really helping her. 
you know, yeah. with, the, with her moves and everything. So you, you saw even with the regular staff, she was trying, you know, doing her best to keep up with them, you know. But damn, man, it's like this is like the first time they. This is kind of like the first time where they're like kind of going head on, kind of with the injustice, but not you know the full amount of I injustice, you know. Oh yeah, I'm. A, I'll have a weird feeling. Season finale is gonna be freaking epic. You know, like. Big, pretty big the way this is leading because we still have three episodes left and like the only two other lingering questions are like will Justin Knight figure out like whatever's going on with him yeah and like the stuff with Courtney's biological father yeah it's like we can get that answered as well I think though my favorite moment funny moment of course is the typical when Dragon King you see really truly what Dragon King looks like he yells and also they're, even they're like ah! And then they just fire. <laughs> it's like it was gonna fire. It was make it was, it was cool. It was practical effects too. Yeah, it was fun. practical. It wasn't like oh, you know, See, special ghosts. It's, it's practical effects, you know, showing the transformation that he did to himself. You know. So he's probably sitting there and they go, "Hello, is anybody here?" Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but yeah, this was a really good episode. That's another. Yeah, it, it was, and it's another character I like. You know, those funny moments where like, "Come on, Daddy, let me kill her. Let me kill her, Daddy. Come on." Come on, let me kill her. So weird. But uh, other than that, if you're new to the channel, you can hit the like button. If you want to talk to us more about stuff like this, comment down below. If you want to share us around, share it around. And if you like it, it's just a little bit more to anybody else when it comes to talking about HBO Max slash CW original series, hit the subscribe button down below and hit that bell icon as well. Let us know what you guys' thoughts are on this uh, show. Uh, oh, not show, but sorry. On this episode, did you, in, you know, it, it, we initially watched it. Did you get emotional by the end of it? Uh, were you teary-eyed? Were you just heartbroken, you know, how do you like the villains so far, you know, up to this point in this season? Now, you just loving how they've been using the villains uh, very well. Uh, again, any favorite moments, any favorite lines that stood out the most for you? Uh, put down what you thought of our reaction overall to this episode, but most importantly, thank you for watching. And of course, on the next episode of SRB TV, dealing with Stargirl, we will be tackling Season 1, Episode 11, Shining Night. So we finally get that answer. So yeah, so <laughs> until next time, I'm Chris. And I'm Christopher. And this has been a very brainwave filled episode of SRB TV. See ya. Later. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you want to check out our previous reactions or any one of our other SRB shows, check out one of our playlists down below. If you want to check us out in the social universe, you can find us on Twitter and Stardust at Super React Bros.